traveling paradise with that. Upgrade now. Fantastic choice. Now be fun.
break now. Today at the G Machine. Tech Corporation, the benevolent behemoth that wants us to believe they are our corporate savior. The hard truth is that their interests lie far from the well-being of the people. 
they parade their achievements, their innovations, but behind the shiny facade lies a sinister reality. You see, Terratech for sin, an artificial intelligence program that was meant to enhance our lives, to revolutionize our existence. But what they didn't tell us was that sin has become a monster. A beast unleashed upon our city, co-opting the very infrastructure designed to support our daily needs. Think about it. Our transportation and bio cores on which we rely. The power grids that illuminate our nights are all under threat from Sin's insidious influence as it manipulates and controls while Terratech turns a blind eye.
doing, and this is... It's desperate, that's what it is. But it's the best I can do for him until he can afford a full restoration of... the original. Mama is a total self-centered a-hole. I can't believe I was naive enough to buy into the hole. You, me, and Jazz are all on the same fucking team line. If I thought it would do any good to approach the boss lady, I would send a strongly worded complaint to HR about Ma's inability to collaborate effectively. <laughs> but it won't. So from now on, I'm looking out for, how do Earthers put it? Numero uno. <laughs> yeah, yours truly. <laughs>
I've intercepted a transmission. Oh, still no word from Jazz, sir. Gotta assume he's been mulched. Well, we ain't waiting around to find out. I've almost reached the final data set. You secure us a ride off this hellhole? I have, sir. Standard military shuttle. Not exactly first class, but it's a lucky find. I'll, uh, I'll meet you at the power plant. If we can hijack that shuttle first, Vector falls within our reach. The power plant's close. I recommend we head there.
is Dr. Nix. I'm recording this message after another grueling shift at the clinic. I'm not sure how much longer I can endure, but I need to get this off my chest. I've dedicated my life to cybernetic medicine, embracing the cutting-edge technologies that I've meant to the humanoid body. It's been a thrilling journey, witnessing the merging of flesh and non-carbons, healing the wounded and enhancing the lives of so many. But lately, I find myself growing weary, worn down by the demands of a society obsessed with pushing the boundaries of what it means to be human. The line between medical necessity and reckless self-indulgence has become blurred. I've encountered patients who come to me not seeking functional enhancements or solutions to medical conditions, but rather chasing some twisted vision of perfection or power. They demand enhancements that defy reason, that defy safety. It's disheartening, to say the least. I've sworn an oath to do no harm, but how can I abide by that when patients request modifications that are dangerous? The risks are real. The potential consequences are dire. Yet they're willing to toss it all aside in pursuit of a fleeting thrill or a momentary advantage. I've seen individuals who want their nervous systems rewired to bypass pain entirely, seeking the intoxicating allure of a life without consequence. Others clamor for cybernetic limbs that can crush steel or enhancements that can help them maneuver at unnatural speeds, believing that it will somehow make them invincible. But they fail to grasp the fragile balance between man and machine, the delicate equilibrium that must be maintained. And what of the soul? That is all for now. Sir, we cannot outrun that thing on foot. Ah, I was hoping for something with more grunt, sir. Maybe a sidecar or a rocket launcher. Well, at least it's not a penny farthing, sir. Enemies ahead. We need to get to the power plant. Between here and there are the acid pits. If we reach them, we should be able to hide in the fog.
This tunnel should be safe from that damned eye.
heretic. The self-proclaimed savior has become the oppressor. They prioritize profit over people, allowing sin to run rampant, unchecked. But we won't stand for it. We will shine a light on their corruption, expose their lies, expose their lies, and fight for justice. I implore you to open your eyes to the truth. Heretech cares not for us, the ordinary people who fuel their empire. It is our duty to resist, to demand accountability. Together, we can reclaim our city from the clutches of this corporate tyranny. Thank you. 
became a doctor to help people, to restore them to health, to give them a chance at a better life. But when faced with requests that threaten to undermine everything I stand for, I'm left disillusioned. I've spent years studying the intricacies of cybernetics, understanding their potential and their limitations. And yet, it seems that many are blind to the risks involved. So, let this be a message to all who seek my expertise. I will no longer compromise my principles. I will not be swayed by the allure of dangerous augmentations. My duty is to ensure the well-being of my patients, to guide them towards choices that are responsible and rooted in genuine need. To all those who have entrusted me with their care, I thank you. I will continue to... We're on the home stretch. The acid pits are ahead. You run, you hide, you fight. All of it is in the charade. I see you. I see you. You run, you hide, you fight. All of it is in the charade. I see you. I see you. Oh, my God. 